This video is sponsored by Pathfinder LED. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage. Today I think what I want to do is I want to wrap up this series on the trunk swap that I did for my 2018 Goldwing. You may remember in the first three videos I've talked about what I've been going through to get this uh, 2018 trunk swapped out with a 2021 trunk, which is much larger. And uh, it's been quite a process. So before I get started, I want to ask you to do me a favor. Please, if you enjoy this series of videos, if you enjoy motorcycle videos altogether, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell. So YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Forgive me for using the worst time lapse in the history of time lapse. I got a lot of light flicker. I apologize. But my first task was to remove my 2018 trunk. Now to do this, I have to take off all of the painted body panels. I had to also take off the trunk lid. And I'm eventually going to trade that lid out uh, with Dale uh, with his trunk lid, but that's another story. So you got to remove the seat. you got to remove a lot of parts. You've also got to uh, remove the cable that goes to the trunk, trunk latch mechanism. That was a, a little bit of a challenge. I should also point out that I'm not going to show step-by-step step how to do this on YouTube. I'm just kind of showing you the a quick run through. Obviously, it's all sped up. But if you want to see a complete, detailed, in depth how to remove your 2018 trunk, how to swap it out with a newer, larger trunk, I'm going to do a complete video on my Goldwing maintenance video series that shows in detail how to do that. Once I did get the old trunk removed, I had to obviously do some cleaning up under here, but you can see the subframe that's mounted to the frame right here. And at this point, I had to make a decision. Was I going to use this subframe or was I going to make some modifications to use the traction quick release? When I first started this process, this project of putting this trunk kit in, I did reach out to Max at Traction, and he was kind enough to send me this quick release kit because I told him, as long as I'm putting the trunk on, maybe I should go ahead and put on this quick release uh, trunk sub frame pieces because with this, you can remove the trunk very quickly. You can get the trunk on and off maybe 10, 15 minutes as opposed to an hour. I don't understand all of how it works. I just know that Max was kind enough to send this to me. And I originally had intended to install this as part of this project. But because of the time it was going to take with editing and everything to, to, to do that, I chose not to do it. I don't plan on ever taking this trunk off. Uh, this is not, I don't turn this into a bagger. If you have a bagger and you like going back and forth between having a trunk or not having a trunk, uh, this is definitely something you would want to invest in. And you definitely want to install it while you're doing this process before you put the trunk on the subframe. Uh, you'd want to install these pieces. It's very simple. It's a very, it's, you know, it's a very light, simple kit but it makes a huge difference for those of you that want to be able to take your trunk on and off. Um, I apologize to Max for not putting this on. I will ship this back to him. There's no sense in him paying to send me this and me not use it. So I will send this back to Max so he can sell it to one of you because I know somebody out there is going to want this quick release trunk kit. So check it out on traction.com now. Let's get to the rest of my trunk. At this point, I should probably point out, here I am installing the new trunk onto my 2018, that this process was much easier than I thought it was going to be. It probably would take you maybe three or four hours. It took me three days because I'm having to stop and move cameras around and get lights in place and shoot video and go back and reshoot certain scenes that didn't come out right because it was out of focus or whatever. But uh, this process really went a lot easier than I thought it would. 
Altogether, I think I shot about 14 hours of video, so it will take me a while to go through all that video and edit it down for my maintenance video series to make it a little more comprehensible and easy to understand. I also made a couple of mistakes during the installation that I'll have to edit those out because you won't make those mistakes since you'll have my videos to help you should you decide to do this yourself. Now, there are a couple of things I would recommend if you do decide to swap out your trunk with the larger trunk kit. The I'll put the part numbers in the description of this video, but I'm not going to tell you where to order these because this is not a sponsored video, and you can basically order these parts from any dealer or any online reseller that sells Honda OEM parts. It is a Honda part. Overall, I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. I think I'm really going to enjoy the additional space offered by this trunk. Now, I did install the spoiler from Pathfinder LED, which I absolutely love. But I will give you one quick warning about that matte black spoiler. When I installed the spoiler on my trunk lid, one of the first things I did was I cleaned off the area where that uh, 3M sticky tape, I don't even know if it's 3M, but the double-sided tape was going to adhere to my trunk lid. I cleaned it with isopropyl alcohol to remove any grease or other uh, fingerprints or whatever. And part of the installation process was to press down quite a bit on that spoiler to make sure that double-sided tape got adhered properly. And even though the uh, spoiler doesn't really show a lot of fingerprints, it's pretty good about that, I decided to go ahead and clean it thoroughly using the alcohol that I had used to clean the trunk lid. That was a big mistake. After cleaning off the spoiler, I looked at the rag and I noticed all this black was coming off on the rag. Once it dried, I noticed the spoiler had this streaking all over it. Apparently, using alcohol on this surface removes something and it causes a streaking to occur. And basically, I ruined the looks of the spoiler. Now, it's not completely ruined. It's still matte black. Most people would probably never notice it, but I notice it. So Cruise Man's helpful tip for the day is this. If you choose to install a matte black spoiler from Pathfinder LED, whatever you do, do not use alcohol to clean that spoiler. Use mild dishwashing liquid, but you definitely do not want to use alcohol when cleaning that surface. Other than that, I absolutely love the spoiler. I love the way the lights work. Everything else, the look of it is perfect. You just have to be careful not to use alcohol. So I took the advice of one of my YouTube viewers who came up with a good idea. Just measure the distance between these two lines here, get the halfway point, and then just go straight up. I think that's probably the simplest solution. So what I did is I measured 11, almost exactly 11 inches. And then what I did is I went to the five and a half inch point and marked here. And then I'm just going to use my level to go straight up to get the five and a half, to get the center of this piece here. And I think that will make it uh, pretty darn close to the center of this trunk lid. Got to get it level here first. And this is the hard part. You just got to basically eyeball it. That's pretty close to the center based on the level. So now what we have is a point where we can sort of visually line up our Honda logo. And we're basically just centering this in over. Is it, it'd be nice if Honda had put a center. I guess I could put a center point on that. Could. So what I did is I measured this at 
And I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm like, once again, I'm making the assumption, and I don't know that it's correct, that the Honda logo is centered in this little blue holder. But if it is, this is 12 centimeters across. So I went to six. Now I've got a mark for the center, which looks like the center of that end. And now I'm just going to line it up here. Does any body shop go to this much trouble to, just to try to get something centered? And I'm, and I'm lining the bottom edge of this blue to the body line here. That's the, or that's the objective. Problem is I've covered up part of my body line with this tape. So I'm going to come down a little bit like that. I can still see my line. And that should be lined up right there with the body line. Go up just a little and just a little over here. That should be a pretty nice mark right in the center. I don't know that anybody's going to notice if it's off. So I'm going to risk it. Worst case is it's a $20 thing. I have to buy another one. Let me clean this really good with alcohol first. I want to make sure we've got a good clean, because I've been putting my fingers all over this be a good clean dry surface now so line it up one more time get my uh, line up my body line and I think I think that's going to be a pretty nice center God, I hope so. All this trouble I've gone to. I'm going to take this off now. So it's on there. Worst case scenario is it'll cost me another $19 if I screwed it up really bad. But it looks pretty darn level. There we go. And now we've got our Honda logo. So maybe all that music was a little dramatic, a little over the top, but I think the trunk looks pretty cool. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps us with the YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.